What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Today is going to be really different. I thought I would do an EQ test to measure my emotional quotient. And that's because I'm just so bored, guys. Literally, the pandemic has made me been stuck at home for a really long time and it made me realize it's time for some self-reflection. EQ test, I don't know what my score will be. Yeah, I'm not too emotional at the same time. I'm not too like cold or like a block of ice. Let's begin. So I have this site loaded up and let's do it together and see how it goes. Find out from this EQ test. There are so many actually. First one, you're on an airplane which suddenly hits extremely bad turbulence and begins rocking from side to side. What do you do? Okay, I think I'm going to pick this. You've taken a group of four year olds to the pirate and one of them starts crying because the others won't play with her. What do you do? Oh, poor girl. Wow, okay, all the answers are really good. good. I think I'll choose this one. <laughs> this is like every Asian's problem. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, this one, I think that's what uh, really feisty students would do, you know. Complain to the professor. I think I'll choose this. Imagine you're an insurance salesman calling prospective clients. 15 people in a row have hung up with you and you are getting discouraged. What do you do? Yeah, I think I'll get discouraged from this because I do not like calling people. I think this is what goes on in my mind. Tough scenario. Hmm. I think I'll go for a milder approach. This one seems to be quite gentle. Road rage is real. It happens all the time, especially in Malaysia. Our cars, the way we drive is madness and uh, really dangerous at the same time too. So if someone is having road rage, I would choose the first one. <laughs> Let's not make a big deal. Arguments, arguments. It's always good to collect your thoughts, you know, so you don't say the wrong things because it seems that here at the moment, you tend to just say all kinds of unintellectual comments which are most likely hurtful. I like this one. Brainstorming is always good. You just get everyone's feedback and it's always better when everyone gives something. It's very limited when you only have yourself. Remember why I said mental health really important. I think I'm just gonna go <laughs> let him go straight to the psychiatrist. No time to joke. Okay. Ooh, I really like this question. For me, I actually wanted to go back to learn the violin again. I picked it up really briefly now, 17. Slow and steady wins the race for this. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, okay, that was not what I was expecting, guys. Seriously, I was not expecting this. A really stone cold person, or do I just not empathize with the situation? I don't know why. I think maybe I'm a bit more on the reserve part where I try to ignore the problem instead of solving it. Wow, okay, I'm just shook. Now it makes me realize more about myself. Yeah, it's true. I actually do not involve myself much with emotional situations. I'm more withdrawn, walled up, and if someone else can take care of it, I will let that person do it, and I kind of just fade into the background. And I highly recommend everyone to do this. What's your score? That's all for this video. I know it's really random, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.